forecast for Tuesday, August 6th. So today we have the moon in Virgo energy all day, which is definitely putting us more in a business minded mode. We're analytical, we're highly critical, super judgmental, not only of ourselves, which is a huge part of the Virgo energy, but we're taking a good look around, taking a good look at our circumstances, at our, let's call it current situations. We have to identify the problems in order to actually fix them. And that's what this Virgo energy is here to do. We are essentially processing who and what needs to stay, needs to go, especially in comparison and contrast to where it is that we would like to see ourselves going from here. That greater, grander vision may not include some people, some places, some things, and the moon in Virgo is going to help us discern, again, what we're taking with us and what we're leaving behind. Now, there are nine different aspects taking place here today. Six of them are going to involve the moon. The moon is going to come up to bump into team up with conjunct Mercury. Mercury is the ruler of the mental plane, ruling over information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves. He just went retrograde here yesterday at four degrees in Virgo energy. If you haven't listened to the Astro Forecast, I'm going to recommend you do that. If you haven't listened to this week's Ascension Forecast, I'm going to recommend you do that as well. We are still very much in the new moon energy. We're still acclimating to Venus moving into Virgo energy, and we are still adjusting to Mercury now retrograde in this Virgo energy as well. I did talk about how this week, although, you know, there are some major energy shifts going on that pretty much already happened. New moon in Leo, Venus in Virgo, Mercury's retrograde. There's a lot of conjunctions as well, um, specifically between the moon, Mercury, and Venus, and they're all in Virgo energy. So you want to talk about getting organized. You want to talk about solving some problems. You want to talk about getting down to the nitty gritty of what needs to stay, what needs to go. This is all the focus for the next couple of days. So the moon conjuncting Mercury. The moon is our heart space. Mercury is our head space. They're on the same page. They're in this Virgo energy, but emotions are kind of removed. Virgo energy, again, an earth sign. We're focused on the matter of fact. A conjunction is an ending just as much as a beginning. We're definitely starting to put a lot of things behind us emotionally, mentally, especially that the new moon in Leo just triggered this major pivot point in our heart space. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Pluto. Pluto is the great transformer. He's retrograde in Aquarius energy. And we love when Virgo energy and Plutonian energy come together because Virgo energy kind of dissects the lower level of the intellect, while Pluto energy does a deep dive in our psyche to unearth some seeds of our conditioning, of our programming that are working against us instead of for us. Pluto wants to empower us and retrograde in the Aquarius energy. We're focused on the power struggles between old versus new, ego versus is higher self, where we're at versus where we want to be. And we're looking for room for improvement. The Aquarius energy has us focused on the greater, grander vision. The Virgo energy has us picking apart the finer details that make up that greater, grander whole. And so this is a positive interaction. This is an aha moment. This is us flipping the script and realizing where it is that we've been limiting ourselves. We've been blocking ourselves. We've been the pain in the butt that we are looking to act actually remove out of our lives. And it requires a change of heart, requires a change of mind, change of perspective. It requires a change of inner dialogue, a change of inner narrative. And this particular energy is going to intensely put us in a situation where we're really picking apart, dissecting the finer details of our thoughts, of our opinions, of our emotions to see where it is that we've outgrown certain aspects of self, where it is that we're bossing up to a new level of perspective of empowerment. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, 
also now in this Virgo energy, going to make a positive interaction with that North Node in Aries energy, trying to get us on the right path, trying to get us on this more independent solo quest, solo adventure to our soul's mission, to our soul's potential. Now, Venus, again, fresh in this Virgo energy. Take a listen to the Astro Forecast if you haven't already. Download the Leo Season e-guide to understand where the change of heart is taking place. And of course, listen to your August Zodiac Forecast to understand where all of these energy shifts this week are really intensifying certain areas of your life. Now, Venus in this Virgo energy, again, critically dissecting what and who needs to stay, needs to go. Who is making us feel encouraged and supported and happy and safe and secure and stabilized in our physical realm? Who is adding to our happiness? Who is adding to our joy? And who is not? What is not? Those particular aspects need to be changed, need to be transformed. Venus interacting with the North Node, we're thinking futuristically. And again, in the grand scheme of things, we're trying to figure out where it is that we would like to go from here and the aspects still existing in our physical realm, people, places, and things that are preventing us from doing just that. This is going to be an aha moment on new wants, needs, desires. And again, emotions are semi-removed from this equation so that we can get down to the nitty gritty. We can focus on what actually is instead of the way that we wished it would be. We can make more of an informed decision. The moon then going to make a very harsh interaction with that north node. And so just as we're starting to identify what makes sense to us, what we have to do, what we have to change, what we have to transform, who we have to cut off. Now we're starting to kind of get cold feet about it. Emotionally speaking, we're not prepared to do the hard things, which just happen to be the right things for us to do to actually move on and move forward. Give yourself permission to just think about it because once you know, you can't unknow and then it's going to be this like nagging voice in the back of your head that continues to tell you that you can't continue to pour into empty cups, that you can't continue to kind of pour into the people, places and things that are not supporting you, not contributing to your overall happiness, joy, safety, security, stability. Again, a harsh aspect is to illuminate to us where it is that we have fears, doubts, and insecurities of doing the things that we know that we need to do to break free, to move on, to evolve, to actually make some progress. The moon is then going to make a difficult interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer, retrograde in this Aries energy, which of course is going to amplify our fears, our doubts, our insecurities that we're now playing off of. It's almost like now we're trying to convince ourselves that this person isn't so bad. They've been a friend for a long time. They weren't always like this. They might not understand me now. They might not understand where I want to go with my life. But at the same time, do we really cut people off because they are no longer fitting into our lives? The answer is yes. OK, now this doesn't need to be a harsh thing. You can create an energetic distance or energetic space in your relationship dynamics without physically cutting people off. This is all about spiritual and energy management and understanding where it is that maybe the energetic connection with some people in your life right now. Just it wasn't what it was supposed to be. It wasn't what you wanted wasn't always like this, but it is what it is. And now we have to do what we have to do with it. And so again, we're sitting in our wounds. We're in this Chiron energy, mind you, being retrograde now, we're more easily able to identify where it is that we've been resisting making the changes that we know that we need to make, resisting doing the things that we know that we need to do. And we're easily able to kind of tackle these situations with a better mood, a better attitude, if you will. But we have to become aware of the issues again in order to fix, heal, or resolve them. The sun shining very brightly in this Leo energy going to make an awkward interaction with Neptune. Neptune, of course, is retrograde at the final critical crisis degree of his rulership in Pisces energy. Let me just say this. This is going to illuminate for us where it is that we're having a hard time focusing, 
concentrating on what needs to be done. This is going to illuminate where it is that we're sitting more in confusion than we are in clarity. This is going to highlight for us where it is that we kind of lost our oomph, lost the pep in our step, if you will, where we've lost focus of our goals, of the target, of the dream, of the vision. We're just losing steam. We're losing a little bit of an oomph in our willpower. And this is going to, does it feel good? No, but this is going to highlight for us where it is that we do have a little bit of a lack of direction, a lack of clarity. And that needs to be realized. We have to understand where it is that we're not feeling in alignment, mind, body, and soul in order to make those adjustments. We're also starting to realize that part of us, again, no fault of our own because of all this Virgo energy, we're more focused on our material realm than our spiritual realm. or more focused on what is instead of what could be focused on the tangibility of our physical realm instead of where it is that we have the ability to change some of the aspects in our physical realm just by the way we think, by the way we perceive, by the way we feel towards them. So this doesn't feel good, but it's not supposed to. It's supposed to illuminate for us where it is that we're feeling torn, where it is that we have to lean either further into our higher self and our intuition or further into our ego selves, identifying in this present moment what isn't working, what we need, what we want to do. And again, the balance is needed in order for us to get the heart and head in alignment and the heart and head need to be in alignment before we can engage the physical body to take action and make moves in the physical realm. And when we talk about moves and actions being made, who are we talking about? We're talking about Mars. So let me just say that the sun making this awkward interaction with Neptune happens at 1026 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. 415, we have the moon getting into the boxing ring, squaring off with Mars. So we sit in the funk for the majority of the day in order for us to get illuminated to where it is that, you know, we're either too anchored into this physical realm or too anchored into the spiritual realm where we have to kind of make efforts to compromise and meet ourselves in the middle of those two particular parts of self. The moon in this Virgo energy, getting into the boxing ring, squaring off with Mars. Mars is in Gemini energy. What does Gemini energy and Virgo energy have in common, you may ask? That would be Mercury. Mercury is currently retrograde, so our intellect is not you know, in charge here. We're in our unconscious realm in order to let our heart space, our intuition to take the lead. And it's very confusing because we're still kind of standing still in this retrograde. We haven't really picked up speed yet. So, you know, a square is attention. It's a conflict in order to highlight the growing pains that we're going through. And Mars, of course, he has his pants just filled with all of these ants. He's restless as F. He just wants to take action. He wants to make moves. But of course, in the Gemini energy, this is about building a plan and a strategy that we are later going to make moves and take action upon. But Mars would prefer to actually physically exert himself here in the physical realm, and he's not able to do that. So the moon, which is our emotional disposition and Mars, which is, you know, all of the wants, needs and desires to make some progress and to make moves. We are being highlighted to where it is that we're frustrated. We are agitated. We are losing our shit. We're losing our cool. We're losing the very little patience that we actually have with our own damn selves. And so this is kind of, you know, again, highlighting where it is that anger and frustration and agitation are a great tool. They're a great teacher. If you're able to ask your current not so happy disposition, what we're supposed to be learning from feeling frustrated, from feeling blocked, from feeling like we're not able to take action, we're not able to make moves. Keep in mind that the moon in this Virgo energy Again, we need to identify where it is that we are feeling frustrated, where it is that we are feeling blocked and challenged because we have to identify the problems in order to actually fix them. Now, here's an interesting turn of events. Mars is going to go ahead and make a positive interaction with Neptune. So this is, and again, let me just say this. We are not making moves. We are not taking action. But what we are doing with this particular aspect is we are tapping into our creative energies. Why? Because we're planning and strategizing the moves that we want to make. 
We are empowering ourselves to now see where it is that we can think outside of the box and come up with some solutions to some of the problems that we're currently identifying that we have. We are very unlikely to kind of, I'm going to say, want to take action upon them. Just give yourself permission to sit within yourself, to sit in la la land, to sit in the mental plane, to kind of strategize what you would like to take action upon without feeling like you actually have to take action upon it. The pressure that you're putting on yourself to take immediate action on the realizations that you're having is ruining the vibe. So this is not the time to kind of implement those actions, make those moves, but we're starting to see where it is that we do have the ability, maybe not to push all the way through these blockages and challenges, but where it is that we can kind of see where we're being detoured to go the long way, to go around them, so to speak. So this is going to be a good vibe to kind of bring the positivity back, to bring the refresher, the reminder of where it is that we would like to go from here. Illuminate the problems in a light that doesn't feel so overwhelming, so pressurized, and instead just give ourselves permission to just conjure up a plan that we have to kind of sit in and percolate on and see how we think about it, how we feel about it without the pressure of actually doing it. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in the Virgo energy, making a positive interaction with the sun in Leo energy. So again, anytime that the moon and the sun are coming together, there's going to be an aha moment. There's going to be a light bulb moment. There's going to be a new level of awareness on what we want, what we need, what we desire, what we have to do, what we have to pursue. Lucky for us, this is a positive interaction. So again, emotionally speaking, we are operating in this Virgo energy to wanna heal, to wanna fix, to wanna repair, to wanna problem solve. And the sun shining a bright light in this Leo energy is giving us the boldness, the confidence, the bravery, the courage needed to do all of the things that, again, we're arriving at that we eventually need to do and take action upon that we're giving ourselves a free pass at this present moment to just think about. 